I am just a no name, I hail from Indianapolis. Mama worked in Forge up because of the racist capitalist. Forces to the east, I dress dressing with the bacon bits. Serve sandwich Monday, sloppy joke Tuesday. Wednesday, another hamburger, help a dish. I can't wait for Friday so I can get some fried fish. Saturday. Alright, so I said that our community would be strong, right? Yeah, you said it would be strong with just single mothers. It would be strong with single mothers because you said we don't need, I need you to say it. We don't we don't really need men in the community. What's up? Heavy here with another heavy thought, man. And um you're about to hear some of my seventh graders talk about men and if we need them or not. And I think this is so important and interesting to talk about because these are little kids who have no clue about no manosphere but yet they have all the talking points they don't even know about the waves of feminism but they got all the talking points of feminism it's so interesting to me like where are they picking these things up there's no social media people don't have parents or do they? Yes, they do. Come on. Like this, just, just listen to this, please. Here, here, here goes some more. Okay, I'm sitting here talking to one of my male students. How old are you? I am 12. 12, all right. So we've been talking about family and stuff. I was talking to him also on another podcast about bullying. And today, um, he asked me about the podcast I did yesterday. And I told him, I asked my students, hey, if somehow we could put all the single moms and their children in one state, would that create a strong community? And then I even said, how do you think they would compete against the next door state who has the complete family together, which is the mother, the father, and the child? And I want you to tell me what you said about men and how, you, I just want you to say it. What'd you say? All right, so I said that our community would be strong, right? Yeah, you, you said, said it would be strong okay. with just single mothers. It would be strong with single mothers because- You said we don't need, I need you to say it. We don't, we don't really need men in the community. There we go, explain. Only because, you know, we got a woman's history month, right? Right. We do. <laughs> and, I just feel like we don't always need men in our community just to create or make bigger things. We always can have like just women. <laughs> we always can just have like just women. Like, um. Uh, so the world will be okay with just women. The, we, the and forum, we're not talking about, uh, we're not gonna talk about reproducing. We know we need both to reproduce. The full world will be. You think the world will be totally better? Without men? Yeah, without men. Like as far, let's just say they just there for reproductive and that's it, just to make sure the population doesn't die. You think if they were separate from everybody, the world would be even better? I mean, probably no, because it's some, Wait a minute, it's that's some, what you just said. It's, it's some single moms out here that be missing a man, uh -huh. but... <laughs> but you saw, oh, you just sat here and said we don't need men, so, but now you're saying we do. No, we, well, hold on, hold on, let me get, let me get back to that. Yeah, we do, we do. I mean, we don't. We don't, don't need, need men. men. Okay. Because, like... I know this might sound like strong and we talk about something, but like what I'm saying is like men, like yeah, men can lift like heavy things and stuff. Facts, but we got machines to do that now. Exactly. So we yeah, but I'm saying that, really. like like a couch, like when you like when you always move in something and then the man got to do the heavy work. Hold on, but wait, are you suggesting that women can't team up and move this heavy couch? Can't they? I'm saying two females can also be in the same position as the males. Correct. They can lift. So they can couch. lift heavy stuff now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not saying we always need the men to do stuff. Right. Like, you know. Right. No, I'm, women. I was just saying. Women, it sounded like at first you was trying to say that women couldn't lift the heavy couch. Women I'm like, yeah, deserve. They can lift the heavy women deserve a lot of respect. So. Right. So when I made that statement, then did you feel like I was disrespecting women? I forgot what you said. What you say again? Did you? Did I make you feel no, like I, I know, was I know what you meant when I said. But what did you say? Because, because my comment is, we need both. I'm not making the statement we don't need women. I think the community would be jacked up if all the women disappeared, and I think it would be jacked up if all the men disappeared. We need both. But you made a strong statement and said we don't need men, and I just totally disagree with that. Can I use your All right, go ahead. Mm. So did you feel like at first I was disrespecting women? I don't know how you were disrespecting women, but I feel like you was kind of like, 
Uh, Minimizing what they do in the community? Yeah. Like making less than what they do? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I think they're important. I just find it uh, interesting that a lot of us say we don't need men. You rarely hear people say we don't need women. You don't think that's interesting? Like that we don't need women? No, I, I find it interesting that people are not running around saying we don't need women, but it's tons of people running around saying we don't need men. I find that very interesting. Because we really don't need men. <laughs> so we don't need men. Wow. Like we serve no purpose other than emotional labor because he said sometimes single moms do miss they, they baby dad. <laughs> But that's it. And he's not the only one. I, I only did him because he was willing to talk. And he had such a strong emphasis on how we do not need men. And I find that strange since he is a boy that's going to grow into a man. Like amazing. You don't see any worth in yourself. But this is what our society is doing to us. Our society, through the media, through socialization, is convincing people that males are obsolete. We are not needed. We are nothing. We provide nothing but trauma, but trouble, but violence. And I just disagree with all of that. But it's just amazing that this is what our children are picking up from us in the media and their socialization is that men are nothing. But a lot of us then grow up thinking we are nothing. Which is sad. Sad. And I can't believe other people don't think it's sad that, that you think the only valuable piece of our society is the feminine gender. Everybody else can kick rocks and it's nothing, it's dirt, and they deserve every negative, nasty, horrible thing that happens to them. I just disagree with that. There's so much value in men. We help stabilize communities, we help stabilize relationships. We bring comedy, we bring joy, we bring a different perspective that females cannot bring because we have a different experience. We provide emotional labor. We provide mentorship. We provide examples of how to treat people in a masculine way, which is just as valuable as the feminine way. We provide a male version of intelligence, a male version of a family member, tons of things, support, stability, Relief. We help people. It's just so much. And it, it, it's a monetary value cannot be placed on being a man. And I, I just think people need to look into what males bring to our society instead of just writing us off as just people that can pick up heavy things and, and reproduce. That's just my heavy thought. I hope you enjoyed the audio. I'm out.